This is Ken Leone, Vice President of Marketing here at Stock Rover. In this video, I'll focus on Stock Rover's key features and capabilities. As we'll see, Stock Rover is a powerful investment research and analysis tool. Let's start with a quick primer on Stock Rover's navigation. All of Stock Rover's features and capabilities are quickly accessible from the vertical gray selector menu. The gray selector menu is logically grouped into six sections based on function. There's also a search box for searchable access to Stock Rover features. For example, I could type in Apple. And I can see that Apple is referenced in two portfolios, as well as a watch list. I could also put in a metric. Here I can see which EPS metrics are referenced in which views. Let's explore Stock Rover's key features and capabilities. We'll start with the dashboard where you can get a brief synopsis of the market as well as information regarding your portfolios and the individual holdings within your portfolios. You'll notice that the Stock Rover dashboard is highly configurable. We can determine what sections we'd like to display, as well as which portfolios we'd like to include. Markets delivers all kinds of information on current market activity. We also have quick access to both market news as well as company news. When you're ready to perform a deep dive into a single stock or a group of stocks or ETFs, you'll want to go to Display. As we can see, the navigation panel has a tree-like structure that includes folders and subfolders of tickers. For example, we could select Indices, ETFs, Portfolios, Watch Lists, or Screeners. If you're familiar with Explorer on Windows or Finder on Mac, then you've mastered the concept behind selecting tickers via the navigation panel. We can also quickly add a set of tickers or a ticker for ad hoc research and analysis via quotes. We've selected a group of tickers called 20 Top ESG Companies, which is a portfolio which was imported from the Stock Rover Investor Library. The display presents us with three panes, the table, the chart, and the insight panel. I can display them individually, I can display them all together, and I can pop them out individually as separate windows. The table helps you compare investments across many dimensions of financial, operational, and price performance. The table is packed with features and customizable settings such that any investor can completely tailor the table to fulfill their own investment style and needs. Let's chart Apple. Stock Rover presents a whole suite of charting options. I'm charting back one year, but Stock Rover goes as far back as 2007. I can compare Apple to a benchmark. I can use that benchmark as a baseline. I can chart Apple against other tickers. I can see if there's earnings surprises. I can chart fundamentals.
I can chart technicals. I can chart valuation. We'll select the football field. Let's expand. Here we see key valuation metrics and their relation to their min and max value over the last year. The blue bar represents Apple's current value for each of the eight metrics. Each horizontal bar represents the min and max value split into quintiles. Here I've expanded my min and max value to five years. Let's go back to one year. This graph provides a phenomenal amount of information in a clear and concise format, and that ultimately is what Stock Rover is all about. The Insight panel is populated with all kinds of analytics, insights if you will, that are specific to Apple. Here we can see price performance, fair value, margin of safety. We see Stock Rover's proprietary scoring and much more. Visuals contains multiple tabs. I've targeted dividends as something I'm interested in, but I could look at earnings, monthly returns, and much more. Stock Rover also delivers financial statements. Here I can see the summary income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, and more. I can also get a detailed income statement, balance sheet, and more. Let's take a look at portfolio management. The first thing you'll note is that Stock Rover provides you with several options to get your portfolios into Stock Rover. You can either enter them in manually, or you can establish a read-only data feed via Stock Rover's Brokerage Connect. Multiple portfolio support means that you can analyze your portfolios individually or merge a combination of them together. I've selected the 20 top ESG companies portfolio, which I imported from the investor library. For a deeper dive, let's take a look at the portfolio analytics. I've already sorted based on percent of total return. Let's add a second portfolio. As you can see, we are now analyzing across portfolios. We can also perform other analytics that are unique to portfolios. For example, we can compute future dividend income. We can also perform correlation. Let's take a look at screeners. Screeners allow you to filter through all of the stocks and ETFs in Stock Rover's investment universe in order to find the ones that meet your specific investment criteria. The available filtering criteria is comprehensive. Stock Rover contains some 500 plus screenable metrics which cover price performance, financial and operational metrics, as well as sector and industry metrics. You can screen based on a simple threshold, or you can perform advanced screening using equations. This equation is showing earnings per share now must be greater than earnings per share for a trailing 12 month period going back one year. Below we see a preview of some of the stocks that meet the screening criteria. We can also use the screener to score a watch list or portfolio. For a deeper dive, we can shortcut to the table as well as to the chart. Let's take a quick look at a few of the goodies available to you under More Goodies. 
We'll start with stock ratings, which is a powerful capability that helps you find and vet quality long-term companies to invest in. Great stocks across multiple dimensions, such as growth, valuation, financial strength, momentum, and more. The ratings are based on the long-term track record. Here, we see Apple has an overall score of 80. One of the contributing factors is a growth score of 96, which is very good. I can see that Apple is rated in the 96th percentile, ranking 8th out of 201 companies in its industry. We'll take a look at their earnings calendar. We can see when companies will report their earnings. The calendar is comprehensive and flexible. You can view all companies in Stock Rover's investment universe. You can also see the earnings dates for only the companies that you care about. For example, stocks based on your portfolios, watch lists, or quotes list. If we want to see what's happening on a specific day, we can just drill. From here, we can go right to the Insight panel. Stock Rover comes with additional resources to help you further leverage the platform. Search through the vast array of metrics available for screening via the metric browser. Import additional screeners, portfolios, watch lists, and more from the investor library. Accessing the help is as simple as a quick click. Lastly, we'll finish up with bookmarks where you can customize the gray selector menu with the parts of Stock Rover that you use most often and want to quickly access. I'll click on the bookmark for Chart Apple. You can see that the bookmark sent me right to the chart. I charted Apple's dividend adjusted return versus the S&P 500 for the last year. And I've also shown the Apple valuation chart, the football field, if you will. Let's see how easy it is to create a bookmark. I'll go to Portfolios and I want to create a bookmark for future income. I select future income. I'll click on the star and create the bookmark called Future Income. I'll add it. Now we see in the lower left hand corner that Future Income shows as a bookmark. Again I'll chart Apple. Now I'll go to the Future Income bookmark. Again this is very quick, very easy, and very powerful. I hope you found the video useful and I encourage you to explore Stock Rover and see all that it has to offer as well as check out our educational videos on our website. Thank you for watching.